Hey guys, it's Anthony. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're talking about where the market's been this past week, where we think the market's going in this coming week. And if you're looking to become a consistently profitable trader, definitely hit that subscribe button. I personally trade ES and NASDAQ futures. And if you trade that, you'll definitely want to subscribe. It's taken me just over two years to become consistently profitable. Lots of trial and error, lots of lessons learned, lots of pain. But over time, it became consistently profitable. And I believe that you will as well, if you're not yet already. So stick with it. And let's dive into the charts. We're taking a look right now at ES and the daily chart. Last video I said I was in a short at an average of 46.01. TP was below this swing low here into this fair value gap. We hit it. Uh, TP was at 45.27. So uh, I'm out of that trade. It was about 80 points taken, about a two to one, great trade. And I started actually building it a long. And my average long is 4.528 right now. So I'm basically looking for us to target this gap up here. And my stop loss is actually going to be below the low that we made today. So I'm in an average of 4528 stop being about 4500. And target is just above this high here at about uh, 4596. So this is about a 3 to 1 R. Again, stop at about 4503. TP being up here at about 4590. And I'm holding this for a swing. And we're just going to let this one play out. But um, yeah. Yeah, trade went really well. I read everything super good at that t at this point. Uh, if you just draw a fib retracement from this low we made uh, up into this high, we came into the 50%. So we could actually rally from here and make a higher high. I'm not 100% sold on that yet because the dollar is still strong. So I'm more playing this for a bounce. I really think that we'll get a significant bounce to the upside because a lot of people are bearish right now. Um, VIX pushed up a lot and has now been rejected. So I think the VIX is now gonna sell off, come down into the 14s in the coming week or two. And as the VIX goes down, the market will go up. Similar to like what happened here, Thursday, July 6, we had a big push up for a few days. Uh, after first rejection candle, we rallied uh, for quite a few days. So if you take a look, let's just say like today is similar to Friday, July 7th. You go to Friday, July 7th, and you'll see we're right here. What did we do after Friday, July 7th? Well, you know, Monday we, we dipped down a bit, had a little wick down, but from Friday, July 7th, we went up 173 points or 4% in two weeks. So yeah, I'm not saying we're gonna do something like that, but I'm just saying the VIX has been rejected. And because of that, I think that we will rally in the markets. NASDAQ, I am in a long as well. I took a long at 15,475 near the close because I thought that um, you know we were having a decently strong close, so now my stop is just below this low that we made today at about uh, 15,350. So stop is 140 points away. And uh, TP is actually down on a one hour chart. Yeah, so the entry that I made when I got in here on NASDAQ today is uh, on the one hour chart. I got in this long because we made a low this morning. We pushed up. We wicked down and then pushed up with volume and broke the swing highs to the left here. And then we started to pull back a bit into the close. So because of that, I got in a long, stopped being below all the lows we just made. And then first target is this swing high. So that's why you know, I'm at a 1.7 R. I'm looking for about 250 points on this long on NASDAQ. And yes, I'm looking for about 70 points. So I'm just these are the two longs I'm in. Uh, I had these fair value gaps drawn on the four hour chart and the daily on NASDAQ and ES from a long time ago. So. These are my targets for shorts. We dip below there today. Here is my target for the NASDAQ short. We came down into the middle of it, got a little below the middle of it, but then closed back up above. So I thought this was quite bullish on the NASDAQ. So I think that we can easily come up into that 15,700 area in the coming few days or week or two, uh, possibly up into 15,800. But now we're just gonna wait and see. And looks like we're getting a big push right now. Yeah, huge push. Look at us go. Uh, it must be Apple right now. Yeah, must be Apple earnings or something. Yeah, 2% up on Apple. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, maybe it was just a little squeeze. We'll see if we get continuation. But uh, yeah, that was a decent push up to 15,550. ES up to uh, 4546. But we'll have to see, obviously, if this holds into tomorrow. And uh, yeah, longs are looking good. That's all I have to say. <laughs> Um, let's take a look at the dollar though. So on DXY, um, this was looking very bullish and maybe we put in a little topping, topping tail here. There was resistance to the left. So even if you're bearish on equities, um, 
I would still expect us to pull back in the dollar potentially before coming up into 103. And as we pull back in the dollar, that's when I think we'll get that relief rally, stop out some shorts on ES and NASDAQ before continuing lower in the market and higher in the dollar. So let's just see if it takes out that 103.6 area. Obviously, dollar in the markets are inverse. So the more the dollar goes up, the more the markets are going to go down. Uh, one more thing I want to take a look at was PC. So put the call ratio went up really high. Um, I showed this previously. When we get a really high reading like that, this, this came too fast too soon. So this makes me think that we're going to stop out some shorts. Here it was gradual, and that's when we had the big sell-off. And I, you know, I called the big sell-off because I thought, you know, puts are creeping up. But recently, big jump. So now probably a green day just to stop people out. Um, okay, so see now NASDAQ and ES are back down. So yeah, we could just start going down and take out the lows. Let's see what happens tomorrow. But I'm not going to get too caught up in this. Maybe Apple went back down. Maybe it's just like a squeeze. Yeah. Big push up to 196 on Apple. Back down to flat. A little red. Who knows what's going to happen. We have to wait for them to settle till tomorrow morning. But just know I'm in the long on NASDAQ. Right now break even. And I'm in the long on ES. Right now just above break even. And we're going to see how those play out. But that's those are the trades I'm in. Last thing before we go, let's just take a look at the 10 year. Uh, 10 year has been pushing up extremely high. So this is very bearish for the markets. We broke above the recent high. So if you just take a look from left to right, we pushed up, pushed up, pushed up, and back to basically the highs on the 10 year. And that's bad for NASDAQ, specifically NASDAQ for sure. So now let's just see what happens tomorrow. Uh, we have NFP coming out tomorrow, Friday morning. So. If you're in some swing positions, definitely trim those. Don't hold big size because NFP can be pretty volatile. Recently, it hasn't been that volatile, but let's just wait and see what happens there. And that is going to conclude this market update. As you can see, though, we have already sold off about 4% on the NASDAQ. And I'm just expecting us to have a little bounce FIB retracement before potentially continuing lower. But yeah, well, you know, seasonality suggests that we're gonna have a low in place the first week of August. So the low could be today, the low could be tomorrow, but then next three weeks, we actually push back up based on seasonality and we come back up to about 16,000 on the NASDAQ. Same thing with ES, seasonality basically suggests that we put in a low by the end of this week and we cycle back up to 4,600 by the end of August. That's just based on seasonality. So we'll see how everything plays out. But that's going to conclude this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you appreciate it. Subscribe for more videos just like this. And look out for my next video coming out Sunday at 2 p.m. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.